All right, guys, we have our video here, which we will be using for today's tutorial, but there is a bit of a movement in the footage. So that's something we are going to address right away when we come to the Fusion page. Let's bring a planner tracker and uh, draw out the tracking area around the glasses, since this is where we're going to be spending a majority of our time. And in terms of the setting for the tracker, we're going to change tracker from point uh, to a hybrid, and then we're going to change motion type from perspective to ro translation, rotation, and scale. Now let's click set, go, and then let's select track till the end, and then just let the tracker do its thing. Uh, now guys, in terms of the configuration, uh, this is what works best for our example here, but uh, feel free to experiment with this uh, and see what works best for your footage. So once tracking is complete, we're going to click Create Planner Transform. This is going to give us another node where all this data will be stored and we can detach Planner Tracker. So now let's bring a Polygon Masking node. We're going to connect that to Mini in one. Then let's click Invert and we're gonna go ahead and create a mask around one of the glasses here. Uh, now guys, uh, just a couple uh, tips here. Uh, first of all, be patient uh, with this. The more time you spend on this, the better the mask is going to be. And second of all, make sure you use a smooth instead of a linear. This is just going to make the edges much better, make it uh, stick to the frames better, make it more realistic. And another thing is guys that don't overuse the points, uh, use enough points, but not too many. All right, guys, so once that is done, let's just connect that to Planner Transform and then connect that back to Media in one. So now if we were to replay this, you will see that this mask is going to move in sync uh, with this video. Um, it's just basically using the data that we just create, the tracking data that we just created uh, so that it can keep up with the motion. So uh, this is looking perfect. But one thing you guys will notice is that uh, towards the end of this video, the mask is starting to fall off a little bit. Uh, it's starting to disconnect from the frame. So this is where we need to spend some time finessing. Uh, so what we're going to do is just towards the end of this video, readjust the masks. Nothing super drastic, just to readjust the, the mask here, change the position so that it's going to stick to the frames much better. All right, so this is looking great. Uh, now comes the most exciting part of this, which is to bring our footage, which we'll be using over the mask. Uh, so now let's just do that. And we are going to actually, first of all, bring a background note before we connect it back to the mask. We're going to bring a background note and we're gonna connect this uh, footage to the background note. This will basically help uh, conform this footage to the current timeline resolution. All right, well, so once that's done, let's uh, actually come to the background note and then change the alpha setting from one to zero. And now let's bring in the uh, connect the media in one node uh, to the merge node. And as a foreground, now let's connect this to media out one. Uh, so now let's uh, go ahead and uh, bring a transform node. We're going to make some uh, uh, quick changes to this, uh, uh, this uh, footage here. We're going to adjust the position as well as the size of this uh, footage. And again, this is highly dependent on your, your, your uh, preference. Uh, so for me, uh, what looks best is that I want to see, I want kind of the, the dirt roll as well as the vehicle uh, to show in the reflection. But this is really dependent on what you think looks best for your footage. Now, there are a couple things we can do to make this effect look even better. So one of which is to bring in a shadow node and we're going to connect that to uh, the foreground here. And let's just uh, bring up the softness setting a little bit. This is just going to make the footage look like uh, you know, look even more realistic, look like it belongs to this frame. Uh, another thing we can do is to bring a color and a contrast node, and uh, we're going to connect that to the background here. And uh, uh, by adjusting some of the settings like gain, lift, gamma, contrast, brightness, saturation, you can make this really look like it blends in with the rest of the dark, uh, you know, a frame here. Uh, but this really depends on your artistic uh, goal. In this case, I'm going to make it look more subdued, um, just to, you know, in the context of the dark glass, but you can also make it pop. So it just depends on what you think looks best for your effect. Now I want to introduce an alternative here, which is to come to this merge node and then switch the foreground to the background and then vice versa. Now we are going to come to this chain of node here and disconnect it and then connect it to the mask input on the merge node. Now let's come to the polygon mask node here and uncheck invert. So now basically this footage is now the foreground instead of the background. 
And one thing we can do is uh, in this case to come to this merge node and adjust the, the blend setting here. And the magical thing you will see happening here is that this is going to start to blend into uh, sort of what's behind the sunglasses really, really well. Uh, it really will help you sell this effect. Uh, now, of course, the key here is to not go drastic. If you bring all the way down, that's just going to basically uh, you know, review the, the, the original uh, glass, but uh, uh, the key is to find that sweet spot. But once you find that sweet spot, guys, this is going to really help you sell that look because it's going to look very realistic. All right, guys, uh, so yeah, there are multiple different ways to approach this. It just uh, comes down to what you think works best for you. All right, guys, there's just one last thing that we uh, are going to talk about. I promise that is to uh, finish off this effect with the other glass. So now we're going to bring a merge node and then let's bring a, a background node as well connected to this merge node. But make sure that you switch, uh, switch it so that this background node is actually set as a background instead of uh, a foreground. Uh, now, let's. Uh, the first thing we're going to do here is to make sure that we change the alpha setting to zero uh, instead of one. And then we're going to copy these uh, two nodes here and then we're going to paste it uh, over. And then uh, we're going to attach them to this merge node uh, or to the mask input on this uh, mer new merge node here. And then we're going to come to this polygon masking node and then just to bring our adjust the position so that it comes over to this other glass. And again, guys, the key here is to spend as much time as you uh, as you can to make sure that this mask fits the frame well. But uh, for the sake of demonstration, I'm just going to leave it like this. And now what we're going to do is just copy this entire chain of background nodes, uh, paste it uh, over here, and then we're going to connect it to uh, this uh, uh, new merge node as a background. And now let's uh, just connect this merge node uh, to the media I want now. Now let's uh, connect, come to this new transform node and then we're going to just adjust the position as well as the size uh, for this new footage or sorry for this other footage here. And then uh, once that's done guys, this is pretty much it. Now I went for the duplicate uh, uh, for a duplicate of the footage. But you didn't have to for some effects, some of these effects, you know, you can just use one footage and then stretch it out to both uh, glasses. But uh, this all comes down to what you think works best for you. So this is uh, pretty much it, guys, for this tutorial. And as always, uh, I will see you next time.